Ahmed. <laughs> you almost hit my mirror, dude. All right, guys, welcome back to Black Acre Ranch. We're here with all the calves and all the animals, the adults, because we're going to uh, start this process of segregating out the calves. And we got some feed in the back, so let's start this and uh, show you kind of what we're doing. And we're going to progress this over probably a week, I don't know, something like that. So anyway, stick with us as we get this all going. <laughs> With all the animals so anxious for feed, we don't have feed for all of them, but we can't seem, we can't seem to get in there and get through this mess. Come on guys. All right, guys, we got Ahmed. Are you just grinding on our truck here? Come on, man, a little respect. All right, if you guys weren't aware, Ahmed already stuck a horn right through our tail light. And uh, anyway, fighting the storm, guys, here. Uh, yeah, you can tell, it's coming. We've got our troughs, we've got everything set up. Um, really, our big issue is getting these feed in here. And I know it's raining, I don't want to feed when in the middle of the rainstorm, but these guys want the feed and they're not sure why we're sitting where we're at. So let's get some feed on the inside. I'm anticipating the big animals are gonna try and hoard the gate. So you gotta get that over? Yeah, do you All want right. me to crawl over or where do you want me? I'm gonna need to just get over, film me, I guess. And then I'll need a little feed. Yep. All right, I know you guys are anxious. <laughs> Let's get this over here. Oh, and who's over here? <laughs> Bartok, you know what's up, dude. You're a smart creature. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can get some of these calves over here. Some of the moms. I think one of the tricks with this gate that maybe some others haven't been is it's shorter. I wanna see if we can get any of those calves in. This has been sitting here. They should have been exploring this a little bit. And well, I don't know what they're doing. So the reason I put it in this thing here is to get it close enough that the animals know that it's there before I just stick it far away. Isn't that right, Bahar talk? All right, let's see if we can get more food. You wanna give me the bucket? That was so close. Oh, geez. No guarantee. I got it. All right. Let's see if we can. What is Mary?
And while we're waiting for these guys, I want to kind of clarify a few things. Last episode that I had been doing this when we started that gate, I mentioned there's four pressure situations. When we separate so we can tag, bring them back, and then when we force wean, then when we bring them all back in and work them and so forth, why we don't combine that all into one shot. With the facilities here and the way we have it and how good the alleyway I have, Keep in mind, first thing is, I don't like putting the animals when they're super stressed in those situations any more than I have to. If I weaned them at the exact same time as running everybody around and doing everything, I've only got so many pens to work with, and that just means they're just really agitated. If I can just take it a bite at a time, that's my approach. So that's why I'm trying to non-pressure segregate, so that way I can alleviate that. I just, I don't wanna, I don't want to have to pull the bulls off and the moms and separate them from the calves all at the same time. First year we did that, it was hard because the moms just don't want to separate sometimes and it takes multiple back and forth between pens. So we choose to wean forcefully. Yes, we force wean them. We don't let nature do it. Um, but I also just don't want to do that all at the same time. So, so watching them check out, especially the adults, check out the like food, the bulls, especially Ahmed, put his head right up at that little gate for the calves, but he never put his head over it. So, so far, it's not like they're trying to jump it. Yeah. And it, yeah. I think the spacing is key on that, but also the height. If, as long as they're not going to jump, but I think the height is good because when you see some of these moms come up close, they're definitely taller at the hump. They would have to almost get down on their knees to get underneath that. And that's where the calves get through, but the moms can't. And, and maybe other people who've done this or tried this in the past may have found those kinds of situations where, hey, it didn't work. Maybe it's just too tall overall. So we've actually got some chains loose. I'm gonna actually <laughs> put oh, those back on. Why don't you go do that before anybody actually does come in? Part should be on the inside of the... There you go, that's good. I like that. Do that over there too. <laughs> Let me get a little closer. Yeah, I think the adults are gonna figure that one out. Oh, still not willing to put her head through. Oh, there she goes. Ahmed, yep, your turn, huh? Your head's a little bigger, dude. This might piss him off. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get that gate knocked down real fast. Oh, he's trying. Oh my goodness. Um, he's gonna rip that thing off if you okay, keep it there. Maybe this isn't a good idea. No. <laughs> if he got his horns stuck. Yeah, that's all bad. That whole gate's getting ripped apart. <laughs> a lot farther now. <laughs> now he's gonna get aggravated. Yeah, you, you're teased now. You're just a big tease. I know the calves are more skittish from us than the adults, so I don't know if we are also just making this less interest for them. Run to the farm. Hopefully they didn't keep running after me because I had the bucket. Oh, snakey. <laughs> we still have one bucket in the truck. I know. <laughs> and it's only one bucket. They're used to six. All right, so for the reason we did that is just to try and get the adults away. One trough isn't going to get enough adults that they can all feed at us. So obviously, Kath and everybody else are going to be not getting anything. So while the bulls are gone, Maybe we rattle this and see if we can get some calves. Okay. Oh, we got some moms.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> the one way over there. All right, so day one, um, we ended up just giving the adults the main of the a bulk of the feed, and it's a bit crazy. So now Jeff's stranded over there, so I'm gonna go pick him up. I would have picked up Jeff, but he has the keys in his pocket. He sacrificed the bucket. We'll see how that goes. Let's see if any of these calves will go through. Let's get this bucket. Bucket. Think we can get out that gate? Alright, so at the beginning of this I thought, hey, let's just do progression. Um, <laughs> we're gonna have to let this go overnight. Come back tomorrow, see who's eating it, if it's anything's been eaten. But the adults, like we wondered if it would happen, they just block the area. So once they get dissuaded, then the calves can maybe come up. So we've got some really big rainstorms that could be coming. So I didn't want to leave a lot of feed out. And since we had the feed, Thought maybe give it to the adults to try and get some room. <laughs> Didn't work. <clears throat> Slightly winded. So anyway, we're gonna do some progressions. Let's see how these next night go. And if we can get them coming in, we'll keep you updated. All right, day number three, guys. Today is a day that we do not feed the main herd. Um, we have been having some success. We've seen two, three, four, I think, kind of in here, but it's not been at a consistent time frame. So what we're doing is they're just parking right up here. We're gonna give them some more feed and then we're gonna sit and wash to see how many come in. I will say that I've started using this bell thing to kind of try and be like a uh, audible indicator to hopefully the calves that they know what happens when this goes off is that this gets replenished. So anyway, we're just gonna feed them and then sit and watch. All right, I'm gonna go check the black thing and see if they've eaten all of that. This is empty. Before we had left some in these big ones and it's all gone. So, which is good. The calves are coming in. Hawkman isn't too pleased, guys. <laughs> He's and all the herd is commotion going around, guys. They're all moving. They don't know how to get in. I have not put any board up top. Oh, sweet. You see that? Oh, look at that. She just, number two. Six, seven, Hawkman's not liking it. We've got seven. Oh, well, there's Ahmed. Oh, is that Bartok? Yeah. Sorry. Yep, you're right, Bartok. He didn't try jumping it. I'm gonna see if I can reposition. I think that chain up top on the far side is actually down. Yep, it is. Dang it, dog. You have to go fix it. I know. All the babies are in there. See, see the height, guys? The mom can't get in. Sweet, it's working. Ahmed, oh, this isn't the way, dude. You gotta go the other way. Go the other way, guys. You're never coming in this side. You'll learn. You'll learn too. You gotta come around. This isn't it. I know you want it. I know you want it. Yeah, Ahmed's got his lesson learned. He's going around. Come on. You two. Go, go. Take your calf. Go, go. Go around, guys. Go around. All right. We're gonna back off here and see if we can get more to come in since they congregate there and see if we can get more to come here. They may just get too congested there and they leave. Oh, Ahmed, don't you dare blow that thing down. 
This is the time, guys, when the rest of the herd doesn't get it, that the calves will definitely come in here. Otherwise, you're just going to eat out there. Ahmed! Gosh dang it, Ahmed! <laughs> Ahmed, your head is stuck. Gosh, I gotta get that fixed. <laughs> I wonder if I can go now. Come on, little guys. Man, they're bending that sucker, aren't they? Okay, Ahmed. Just grabbing the chain. Don't mind me. Just grabbing the chain. Hey, Clark, come here. Bar talk. <laughs> Oh, they pushed it. Ahmed really mm. wants it. Oh. Mango. Man, they're tweaking this sucker too. They bent that right up. All right, move the bucket back. Now let's see if more calves will come in. There's two, three. All right, let's keep a watch. Procession line coming around through the funnel. Funnel's working, guys, you see it? They'll get used to this real fast. And we have to do the whole herd. We can leave these troughs here and put some stuff in here and they're all gonna come in, guys. They're just gonna come in because they know it. They're conditioned for it. All right, I'll stop swinging around. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We still have nine babies. We haven't seen any more bison calves than that that have come in, but they obviously know that this first trough has it. <gasps> 10. And that's one of the younger ones, it hasn't quite fully turned yet. All right, so that's 10. It's day five. Gonna check the gate. Gate seems to be holding all points. They kind of wide that sucker out. <clears throat> All right, go ahead and dump it. When already just came in, they were running to us. Here you go. All right, now we're gonna ring the bell. Some of the calves way out. Let's see if they hear. They're coming. You see him running. Number two. These are some good ones. I like that one on the far side. We have eight. Here comes two, hopefully. There's one. There's two. Now we have oh. 10. That's 92s, I think, right there. We have 11. The most I saw last time was 13 at any one given time. Bartok, I know. I just can't give you anything, dude. Oh, I know. You just want my fan, don't you? Oh, that's really tight. It's like sandpaper, guys. Sandpaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, guys, we've been waiting. I've been walking around a little bit. We have, I think, as much as 13 at one time in here. There are still a couple calves out. So Nadine's is the one that's far out. Number nine, that's the youngest calf we have. Then there's this other one over here. I'm trying to see in the picture. That's 13's calf. And there seems to be a couple moms that just don't let their calves go or the calves just don't leave from their mom. 
while there's others, of course, that leave and then the mothers get all frantic. Here's one as well. I don't know who that is, but there are four ladies that typically don't let their calves kind of come in. Or somehow the calves just don't leave the mom, I'll tell you that. So whether it's the mom issue or a calf issue, I don't know. But we still get 13 at one time now. Getting a little bit better, getting a little bit better. Ah, another participant. And smart, keep going, dude. Yep, you know where to go. I think that's a good idea right now. Are you filming? Yeah. All right, so these guys are uh, making life a little difficult getting in. We got our bell, but man, they are swarming us. And Alchemy's still super happy. We tried different truck alignments, sideways, angled. We're trying backed up right now. Ugh. That's one. Man, I'm sorry, dude. So I think from last time it was the numbers, the moms that didn't have their calves come in was 13, six, nine, and maybe two. Those were the four that really kind of were reluctant to come in. I think we've had 14 at any one time in here, 13, I think. So it's really the next progress of these days is gonna see if we can get 13's baby, nine's baby and then six and two kind of alternate a little bit. The gate's been fine, the adults leave alone. They've had their fun, so. It's just a matter of getting all the calves in at one time is gonna be the struggle. All right, so we have all but one who just left. So we've had all 17 now in. We have 16 in officially, so 13's just came in. She was kind of like, hey mom, I wanna go in, and mom's like grunt, grunt, grunt. Baby kind of talked back and then walked in, so. Anyway, I'm not sure who just left, but right when the number 17 came in, one left. So, anyway, we're making progress. We're gonna have to keep doing this some more days, but it's working. All right, day number, whatever it is, look at the bottom of the screen. So I think something that I've been learning here from this one is that we've had some ladies leave to go way over there to the hay, and I'm contemplating the move. We've got 15 in there right now. Number 13 has her calf right here, and number nine went way yonder that way, and um, kind of took off and took her calf. So I'm contemplating when we do this on Saturday, closing that gate and closing that gate. And then that way it would keep all the moms here. Hopefully, would then entice the babies at some point to come through the gate. Because right now they're eating really well, but we're we're down to the last two of 13 and number nine that just don't like to get, let their calves in here. So if we can keep the moms at least in this area, I think we'll have a much better shot. So right now we've got 15 and we're missing two. Oh. 